Good morning, Grace. Good morning. Breakfast time. And because of the time difference, this one is actually up at 7.30. I woke up an hour ago, but yeah. It is currently 12.30. We got a nice long workout in. I just showered, of course, right outside of Planet Fitness. And I got a comment on this weather. It is so nice out. It is like 60 degrees, sunny with a little bit of a breeze. I put sweatpants on because I saw the temperature of the weather, but in the sun, it feels fantastic. I'm just happy that we're exploring Phoenix today. So happy it's not too hot. And for those of you sports fans out there, those who made a bracket, I hope you had as lucky of a time as I did because I actually won my bracket group last night when UConn won. The biggest bracket group I've ever uh, entered into, 40 plus people. So excited for that payday that should be coming to me tomorrow. Probably use some of that money to take us out for a nice meal. Uh, but excited to go check out Phoenix. First stop today in Phoenix is Popgo Park. It looks like it's also right next to the Phoenix Zoo and our next stop, Hole in the Wall. Gotta get that protein. So we just learned Hole in the Rock is in Popgo Park and it's right there. Town Scottsdale, park the car, and we're just gonna walk around for like 15 minutes. Another type of We are now in the Chinatown area of Phoenix, which is like tiny. We're going to 85 degrees Celsius bakery, which is pretty popular out here on the west coast. And this bakery originated from Taiwan. Last time when I was in California, my mom and I and my sister like hunted for these. We're like, we must go. Grace was shocked. I only got one thing. Hokkaido, Hokkaido custard bun. They had a lot of other traditional ones, but I want something savory. And there's a 99 Ranch Market right next door. So I'm gonna get some more, because we need real food. We haven't eaten lunch yet. Apparently it's like vanilla custard with a little bit of cream. That's what I've Mmm. It's good. Thing, 99 Ranch, they didn't have as much stuff at this little food court area as I thought, but we got some three item combo for $10.99 plus tax. Coarse fried rice, honey chicken, eggplant, one of my favorites, and some pork chop. And by the way, both these items are courtesy of Grace, so thank you, Grace, because uh, this is like carryover from the food crawl from uh, London. Just drove around downtown Phoenix, looked at Roosevelt Row, and also drove by the Civic Park. We didn't think that there was too much to look at that was worth getting out of the car. So now we are headed to Holbrook, where we'll be staying for the night, which is right outside of the Petrified Forest National Park. And we have to get there early tomorrow morning, so we have about a three and a half hour drive ahead of us to get to Holbrook. I know it's rush hour, but these like seven lane highways remind me vividly of LA traffic. We just need this one charge stop to get us to Holbrook, at which we'll also charge, but this one's pretty cool. First charger I think I've been to that has the diagonal parking spots. 250 kilowatt. We decided dinner is going to be three pounds of grapes and protein shake and bars. All right, folks, I got a full flat tire. The trooper came to check on us and 
He was saying a lot of people hit that one. It's just a, on the right side of, of the lane. It's a one lane highway. There's a full strip pothole. Like probably at least like a couple yards. It's just straight rocky pothole. And we hit it, you know, going like 65 miles per hour. So yeah, like ripped through the tire. The actual wheel seems to be fine. We're on this phone with roadside assist right now. <sighs> Luckily, it's too, too late. It's like 8.30. Stars really nice, but it's really cold out here. In fact, I think there's snow behind me on the ground. But hopefully, we get this figured out. I think most likely a roadside assistance help us. The closest service center, I think, is back in Phoenix, Arizona, where we came from. We have a tow coming, but it is like 10 30 right now. And they're probably not going to be here until like 12 30, maybe even like 1 a.m. But on the bright side, we do have this bed in the back with blankets to keep us warm. It is cold outside of the car. Outside of the car, it's like 20 degrees. There is actually like frost forming on the back windshield. And there's snow on the ground outside. But on the bright side, we have 49% charge left because of the fact that we stopped at Payson which is always nice. Um, so if we need to heat the car, we can, and periodically we are. I'm gonna try to take a nap. The nice trooper came back on his way home to check on us and uh, says, yeah, uh, we're thinking and he's based on his advice to, there's an alternative route to Holbrook slash Petrified Forest from Phoenix, which is like 20, 30 minutes longer, but he said, it's probably actually around the same because it's, you know, this path is more windy and stuff and potholes. And that's like straight interstate highway. And so we'll probably do that tomorrow. The plan as of now is get to the service center and then figure it out. And then get it hopefully fixed first thing tomorrow. And then head out to Petra Forest again. It's 1230. You can barely see it through the window but that's how the truck is here all right grace in the warmth of the front of the tow truck it's so nice thoughts and comments oh it's been quite an adventure but i'm ready to get this fixed uh it's just really cold out here at night like i can't imagine being in a regular car where like you might have to keep your gas running and risk that your engine running yeah, engine, running. engine. Yeah, your engine running and risk that, but it's freezing, and if we didn't have the blankets, I honestly don't know what we would have done. Yeah. It's, I mean, my toes are so cold, but this car is so warm, and the, I guess the driver slash tow truck mechanic is really nice. Yeah, we still got, what, two to three hours ride? Yeah, we have to head back to Tempe. Yeah. And once we're there at the service center, um, just see what there is. But we won't get it fixed until tomorrow, so either way, we can't travel too, too far. It's 3 a.m. We're finally at the Tesla. It is, boo, what time is it, guys? 3.20. 3.20 a.m. Gonna try to get some sleep here, right inside the service center. Uh, you see the tow right back there? That was super nice, uh, but we're definitely more tired than we probably think we are right now. Um, but luckily, we charged the pacing, so we can heat up the car once we need. It's a lot warmer up here, over here, than it was up there. It's still a little chilly, but well, they open at 8 a.m., so we'll probably be the first ones to get that service done and then uh, get on out of here. But for now, a uh, kind of crazy day. I'm gonna say uh, good night. Good night at 3.20 a.m. <laughs>